Hey everybody, another tennis tip with Carazosa Tennis Instruction. This one on the volley. Um, you ever race into the net, get a nice deep volley and watch that ball go over your head? That's like a daily occurrence watching my students. So probably the biggest thing is not so much to worry about the depth, but keeping your volley low, obviously, or angled. But when you volley, have the idea of, of maybe like taking a rock take a rock and skip it on the water, see how low it stays, it skids. If you can keep that volley low, well their ground strokes are going to get higher so you can angle them away, or their lobs will get shorter so you can smash their lobs. So probably a perfect scenario is as you come up to the net, slow down and keep your volley low. If you don't know where to go, keep your volley low because that way they've got to pick it up off the ground. To do that, I stuck a bench here, just about in no man's land. You can stick it anywhere you want, but I'm going to have Tomo and Jake try to keep the volley underneath the bench. If they can keep that ball underneath the bench, that second volley should be a put away. Take a look. Got it, Jake. Got the camera again, Joe. That was my fault. Great shot. So just the trajectory of the shot. You'll get depth. You'll keep that ball low. Make it much harder for a passing shot. Beautiful shot, Jake. Excellent shot. There you go. Good job, guys. So, it puts you in a frame of mind instead of jumping at the volley, stay down and volley low. So remember, next time you come to the net, if you don't know where to go, keep your volley low. We'll be back with another tip soon at Carazosa Tennis Instruction.